Galnet News Update, 23rd of October 3308. Following yet another discovery, there are now eight Stargoids being tracked. But the good news is that Governor Dalton's peace convoy looks like it's going ahead. The eighth unidentified interstellar anomaly, or Stargoid, was identified late on Friday night. It's offset from the other seven Stargoids, leading to concerns that if the Thargoids like geometrical patterns, then a whole new row of the things might appear. All of the Stargoids are heading towards the human-inhabited core systems, although some, notably Stargoids 1 and 3, are much closer than others. Less than 700 light-years from Sol. The new Stargoid is now in the Uchost RQ-D A94-0 system, more than 2,000 light-years from Sol, so it seems unlikely that all the Stargoids will arrive in the bubble at the same time. Commentators fear the Stargoids, which are travelling too fast to be intercepted, but which make an interesting sound when targeted in the FSS, and which make spectacular flypaths, may be some sort of Thargoid Death Star, come to wreak a terrible vengeance for Salvation's attempt to wipe out the Thargoids. Ranged against the Thargoids and this potential new Stargoid threat, we have the Federation and Empire, which are going it alone with their military responses, and which both seem inexplicably confident that they can fight off a wasp's nest of Thargoids, despite no significant evidence that they can. And the Alliance, which is relying on the Sirius Corporation to keep it safe. Azimuth Biotech seems eager to try to re-establish itself as an anti-Xeno organisation despite the mess it made in HIP 22460, and the Remains of Aegis continues to work with the Project Seraph test subject, formerly known as D2, Ramtar, and Professor Palin, on Xiao Jing Ai's claim that she can interpret Thargoid communication. Palin and Ta have also been researching the green unclassified relics that you get when you feed Guardian relics into a Thargoid structure. And then there's the pro-Xeno peace movement. Federal Governor Dalton has gained just enough support to construct a flagship for the peace convoy the Thargoid Advocacy Project plans to send to attempt to communicate with the Thargoids so we can all live in peace together. There are some formidable barriers to overcome, such as how to prevent the Thargoids from destroying the Peace Convoy on site, and how to communicate with them in some sort of universal language. But if they can overcome these problems, everyone will welcome the prospect of an end to the senseless war with the Thargoids. Except, perhaps, the Anti-Xeno Initiative. <laughs>